burnouts that are streamed live to thousands of followers. The online crowd just as big as the crowd at these takeovers. All wanting to see it live as it happens, the outright chaos on the streets, like here, right in front of Staples Center, cars out of control. Bodies that fly through the air, all the near misses. It's dangerous, all illegal, and now all exploding on the streets right through the Southland. You can't go nowhere. But a bunch of people suddenly show up. They do donuts in the intersection, which are very dangerous. They block all the traffic. Brad Kane is with the neighborhood council in the Fairfax district. He lives right near this very intersection that's now being targeted more and more for the takeovers. On one recent Sunday, two different sideshows striking just hours apart, both jamming intersections with smoking, spinning cars, and hundreds of onlookers. And something even more alarming now, a growing trend of violence. This white car speeds away to safety after its driver is assaulted by the crowd. One of our community members are passing through our community is getting punched in the face. This is the kind of thing where it's not child's play. It it's rises to a level that we need police enforcement. Police have been cracking down, but the sideshow scatters just as soon as the crowd hears the approaching sirens, all running to their cars and making a fast getaway, heading to yet another random location. An undercover Fox 11 news camera follows this rolling sideshow as it moves to a dozen different locations in just a few hours, bringing with it the screeching tires. And the screaming crowd. A surreal scene that out here on the streets they call Sunday Fun Day. The CHP calls it something else. We're going to always do our best to stop this because it kills people and it hurts people. And it's a malicious act that's done intentionally. And when it kills someone, it's murder. Some even call the takeover crowd a mob that threatens to turn out of control at any time. Here even pushing back a CHP cruiser that's trying to break up the sideshow. The officer forced to drive off, making a quick escape for his own safety. Just like any riot or a civil unrest, you can't just simply respond with one person to try and disrupt that and, and stop that behavior and, and ensure the safety of the public that's around. Uh, you have to have a formidable response to that, unfortunately, just because of the size and, and absolute chaos that's occurring. Chaos like this, a crash with one of the takeover cars as it's doing burnouts, igniting the crowd as it tries to pull the driver out just to beat him up. Sorry, he yells. He's roughed up and his car is vandalized, all its windows smashed out. These threatening crowds and the chaos from the takeovers all fueling a desperate plea by some for law and order. It's stuff that nobody would want in their neighborhood. It's very dangerous. It's toxic. And now even some of the sideshow drivers themselves agree all this could be going way too far. In L.A., it's, it's crazy in L.A. Um, they, they don't care out there. You know, L.A. is just, you know, intersections and they stop traffic and this and that. Reason enough for Andy to take his black Chevy and the sideshows he's running far away from the streets of L.A. Now the burnouts go down here in the high desert of the Antelope Valley. In the middle of nowhere, have these side shows in the middle of nowhere where there's uh, no traffic, you know, there's no stoplights, we're not at intersections. Live life to the fullest, live life fast. Live life fast, that is their model. Now you're looking live, one of the main intersections here in the Fairfax district, that is a big target for these sideshows. And as a lot of the takeovers now head up to the high desert, the Palmdale area, still there are so many involved, hundreds and hundreds, that it's not really expected to ease the problem that we're having with the takeovers here in the LA area. They're still expected to be out, the big crowds, taking over intersections, creating chaos, doing their burnouts, and yes, streaming it all live. For now, we are live here in the Fairfax district at Lascos. Back to both of you.